So hello, my name is Daniel Olson. I'm here from Digital Q. Uh, I build WordPress SaaS products on AWS. I live here. My coworkers live there. Find me online at email Dano. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> All right, why am I talking about WordPress? Right? Who cares about WordPress? Well, a lot of people do care about WordPress, and whether you love it or hate it, a lot of people actually use it. And I have data to back this up. Next slide. All right, these are all of our sponsors. If you notice that blue area, those 10 people, all of them are using WordPress. Now, I don't care if you're building the most te technologically advanced thing in the world, chances are you're probably using WordPress. I checked it out, it's true. Now, this is the entire internet. Most often, if you're using a CMS, you're probably using WordPress. Now, there's a reason for that. It's one of the oldest, but also, there's been some really interesting things happening lately. So these companies would agree. Now, believe it or not, at some capacity, whether it's their primary site, or they're using it as a blog, or a tool to gather feedback, or as a community tool, these companies still use WordPress. So I believe it matters. Yes, it's a powerful tool. It's one of the most popular open source projects on GitHub, even though it's not actually on GitHub, it's still on SVN. Um, it has a full REST API. Uh, we're figuring out how to incorporate things like React. Um, but all this stuff, nothing's really changed about hosting. How are we thinking about hosting these monolithic applications today when they came out 13 years ago? So let's change that. Uh, one of the ideas is uh, monoliths versus microservices. So this is something that we're talking about today. How do we push these things into uh, you know, next level like forward-thinking applications rather than just a prepackaged, uh, stale thing that you hopefully get updated. One of the ideas is serverless. So serverless, uh, this is the Gartner chart of emerging technologies. You can see it's kind of on the up and up. So we and my team were thinking, how do we bring serverless to WordPress? So how do we, and this isn't just about WordPress, how do we retrofit WordPress with serverless and design thinking. So there's one option, you could rewrite the entire thing, nobody wants to do that, or you can think of ways to shim it and bring it into the 21st century. So, easy one, put WordPress in a container. But is that really the answer? It's basically shared hosting, it's always on. So is it a solution? Yes, but does it already exist? Yes, so how do you take it a step further? So one idea is, all right, let's think about what requires WordPress to run. PHP, a database, an HTTP proxy, JavaScript. This is your WordPress container. Now, it runs in Docker, but that's not important. Just imagine a container that can turn on and off. So, we start with a third-party microservice. We're taking the serverless approach. Get that out of your container, treat WordPress like an application rather than a monolithic CMS. So, we attach our MySQL database with our personal data, lives outside the container. Those other things we can do with the CDN but we can't serve PHP on a CDN, so we're kind of stuck. So now how do we approach this with design thinking? So we use the serverless model, and we throw something else in there. Let's create a function that takes WordPress PHP pages and your site as the viewer would see it, and compress them to flat static files. Crawl your entire site, flatten it, make an artifact, and then you have something that you can put on a CDN. So this process, of treating WordPress like an application is take WordPress core, and this could be other CMSs too, and basically put it in a container, power it on and off, treat your personal data in something like EFS, push it to a CDN. Now, if WordPress can turn on and off, one of the great security features is WordPress is not running, so there's no admin to hack, no bots to fire traffic at it. So you have access to it as an admin, but nobody else does. Also, since it's on a CDN, how many people can turn your CDN off? You can't turn it off. So fire as much traffic as you want at it, but people do not see your WordPress site. They see a static version of your WordPress site on a CDN. So what about dynamic content? This is WordPress, comments, search. Those things still work. If you're using JavaScript alternatives, use APIs, JavaScript, APIs, and markup. If you're using that, you are A-okay, you're fine. My name is Daniel Olson, find me online at email Dano, and my speaker deck is there. <laughs>